and welcome back guys for this new Heric King, uh, Heric Rune King, sorry, uh, guide. We're on part uh, 10 now, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's uh, yep, part 10. All right. And uh, this time we're going to finish a bit of uh, uh, a small part of the story and actually go back, uh, if my, my memory serves me right, go back to Bilgewater. So last time we uh, we left off, we were in the Shadow Vaults, and let me actually kill this guy too. Are you supposed to, be? to not have to worry about this guy. <clears throat> so yeah, we last time we completed or almost completed the Shadow Vaults, and I will be uh, talking more about that soon. And uh, we cleansed Maokai's roots. Now, what we want to do is actually go back to him and see what's coming for us next. We're still rocking with Pike, Ari, and Grom, uh, and it's actually really cool to triple kill easy like this. Nice. All right. So as I was saying, we almost completed everything in the in the Shadow Vaults. Uh, we have one lore missing and one chest missing. Those are right there uh, near the entrance and near the. A teleporter to go back and also what we uh, didn't do is one um, how is it called one puzzle I should say that is right there but we we will go back to that uh, a bit later so right now what we're going to do is go back and uh, take the lore and the the chest we missed it was honestly you could have taken it before it was just a like uh, something I forgot last time, but yeah, you you probably or you, you might have uh, taken it. What I'm going? What uh, this is the wrong path. My bad. So let's go back. I just like using Ari to navigate the dungeons because I'm, I'm not sure they have a different speed, honestly, but Brom feels slow. It just, it just feels slow. I'm not sure if he is, but yeah, I, and also maybe probably it's a bit less efficient to avoid, uh, how is it called, avoid the, the golems. Uh, I have this one. All right, the, I, I'm completely uh, in the wrong uh, path here. try to maybe uh, get a turn yes that's great and maybe kill them yep. nice all right so that was the wrong path we did that uh, on the on part nine so now we can just oh actually let me let me rest and take this So what I'm planning to do after uh, we advance a bit on the on on the parts, maybe around part 11 or 12, I want to do some more short and specific guides about the about the game. Like I, I, I've explained a lot of things that I've been doing on during the guide, but for people that don't watch the whole videos, it's actually easy to miss. So I'm planning on doing like um, more short videos with tips and tricks, uh, the usual like top 5 tips and tricks uh, you can do to get early levels, get early advantage, early gold or things like that. But if you have like a, like some specifics in mind, if you guys have ideas, uh, don't hesitate to put it in the comments below. It could it could help for when I actually get to 
at this point. All right, so now we have everything here. We can just go back. And but like I said, uh, we are missing one, uh, one uh, like a puzzle uh, there. So we're not we're not doing this one yet. We're we're just we'll just come back later. I don't want to split this video too much. So we're going back to the grove to Maokai. There we go. Little ones, my root once again takes hold, and my energy begins to replenish. If slowly, I am in your debt. Your leaves are already greener. A welcome sight. <laughs> oh, this ordeal has taken much of my strength. To fully restore the grove, to breach the walls of mist, <laughs> it will take time. Time? We don't have any. We need to keep going. I can offer no alternative. The Buru have battled back the mist for thousands of years. There must be something my people can do, that I can do. Yes. The Buru. Before the ruination, the monks of the Blessed Isles would travel to the Serpent Isles to make contact with your ancestors. I thought those but rumors, myths. If you doubt me, search the coast along the Serpent Isles. There is a temple below the sea, where the Buru taught some from the Blessed Isles to commune with your mother serpent. Impossible. If such word has not been passed down in Buru legend, how can I find... I will find it. Ripper? I have seen things in the deep. Then you know of this place. Get me close. The Undertow will call to me. Take this seed. Grant it the Mother Serpent's blessing. With it full of life, I can restore the grove and crush the mist that stands in your way. It will be done. Until we meet again, Maokai. Alright, seems we have a plan now. So, what I want to do before leaving the Shadow Isles uh, is actually go back to the village in a drowned port and see what we can do before leaving. Because we have a, we have a, th a few things that you don't want to miss. So first of all, uh, let me check what this guy is saying. Looks like there are some more Mistwalkers showing up. I uh, guess you've been busy out there. So he's giving us a new quest to defeat three powerful Mistwalkers. And we're, 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 we're going to do just that. And here we have a new person. Uh, that is seeing potential in, in uh, your champions. So let's see. Uh, the Mistwalker poses a sentiment before rising into our finale. Become my disciples and together we shall unleash that power. All right, sounds exciting, right? So what we have here is a way to unlock our last ultimate abilities see how we have uh, all my characters can have a third ultimate abilities but none of them actually unlocked it so this is because uh, it's not by leveling it's by um, bringing her what we need to unlock these abilities so for example we collected uh, let's see uh, we have to find uh, let me see Uh, 
As long as you run from your power, uh, all right. All right. So this is because we landed a killing blow on 25 enemy with an arrow. So we got the third ultimate. And for Brom, let's see if we, we have to find a token of purity. So there we go. Token of purity in Bilgewater. So yeah, the Brom, we have to find something more. Find the lost idol of Nagaka Brewers for Ilaoi. Great. So we're taking this quest for now. Misfortune is find the experimental cannon blueprints in Grey Harbor. So we have to go back to Grey Harbor for that. Perfect. And what about bike? Kill three powerful mystery mistwalkers in the Shadow Isles. So this is kind of like the quest we just took before. So you kinda want to stack those and do them at the same time. And what about Yasuo? And Yasuo is actually finding a book in one of the library we visited when we first arrived in the Shadow Isles. So if you followed the guy along, you should already uh, have it. If you didn't, it's probably in part uh, 6 or 7. I don't remember, but uh, yeah, probably part 6 or 7. And I, sh I, I will put a link in the description if you missed it. Alright, so now we have like two ultimate abilities here. And they're actually... Strong, yeah, for sure, but not that useful because it's actually really long to get them to get the full uh, bar to use them. So, yeah, not that useful, but we're still going to get them, obviously. And for this, I don't think we have the orb. All right, we do have the orb. So, just as a warning, uh, I will activate it, I will gain the new enchantments. You see, here I, I have a 22, 22, 20, 20. 22, 22, 2020, 20, and the same everywhere. And I'm, I'm going to activate those enchants. I gained new uh, abilities here. Uh, so, oh yeah, maybe it's not, <laughs> it's actually, probably it's those one, I, I guess. I don't remember which one, but I definitely gained new enchants here. I should have watched like uh, uh, the number uh, above, above that, but. You can see it because it's a video, so I'm going to check after that. But here, oh, it's fixed. Never mind. All right. Usually on the map, it's uh, there with the uh, treasures and lores, and it doesn't display as you, as if you found them. So yeah, it can be it can be a bit annoying. All right. So now we have two quests here, and one is to kill three mistwalkers for this for the dude here, and the other one is for. Three, miss, three powerful Miss Walker for Pikes, a new ultimate. So one is just here. So we can just uh, do, do that now. There we go. He has a, this guy is, uh, is beefy. Uh, he has a lot of HP, but nothing, uh, nothing crazy for our bike. And let's see, we're going to wear this guy off. And Harry is just going to crit buff, right? Doing this, right? And now I'm ready to to roll. Let's see. Oh, you got. Uh, never mind. All right, he died. And You're this guy too. Perfect. So this was the first powerful enemy. There we go. One more. One down, two more. So the other guys are in uh, different sections of the Shadow Isle, so we can just keep going. I think there is one in the in the forest and one in the was it the cemetery? I'm not sure anymore. Oh, you can we can travel 
from uh, the academy, uh, we can cross the academy or just uh, like go where uh, I should. Is there one here? Probably not. Uh, academy garden, that's where, what we're looking for, I think. Let's see. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll just uh, cross fastest as we can the whole uh, Shadow Isles just to make sure we're not missing anything. It prob it's probably uh, there. Hunting the Mist. Graveyard and Shadow Vault. Alright, and we got the kill three powerful Mist Walkers in the Shadow Isles, and I don't really remember where those guys are. So we're just going to, uh, what did I say, Garden and Shadow Vaults, I think. Mm -hmm. No, we shouldn't need to go there. Just go in there. When you're not fighting or looking for chests and, and stuff, the game is actually small, I would say. Like the, the 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 screens are not that big to cross. So going back to somewhere you've been is actually pretty fast. See how we've almost crossed the entire academy. Yep. And it's even easier when the guys are just running from you. And this should bring us to. Alright, okay. Should bring us to the Academy Garden. gardens and here we should have one more I think if not two let's see it's not here or maybe it's not on the map I, I mean one quest is definitely on the map but the other one is probably not I, I, I don't remember well uh, we'll see we'll see we'll find them eventually Vault of Giants. Uh, what did I say it was? Let's see. Graveyard and Shadow Vaults. Alright, we're, we're going to the graveyard for now. Uh, let's see, the graveyard is just there. We could have taken the the teleport thing in the, in the port. It would have been probably faster. It's fine. <clears throat> so graveyard is on the right there. There we go. And here we should have a powerful enemy right there. This guy. Minding our own business. Not really, I attacked him, so you're you're lying. I'm just going to buff them as usual. And do the usual with Brom too. When you're when you reach late game, like buffing and debuffing, putting poisons, ignites and stuff. Is actually like the core of the game. Uh, how to be strong in this game? You just buff, you gain a lot of shields, a lot of heals, and uh, the enemies just die because of your poisons, or fights poisons. It's actually insane. Is Ari going to have a turn before they die? Yes. Alright, cool. Let's see. Nice. So 
So this one is uh, one more. Uh, all right, let's see. Just checking the token, the idol. Uh, this this quest where is in order to unlock balance, Gary has a task with in, in killing three powerful mist workers, foes cannot be ambushed. Alright, foes cannot be ambushed. We're just going to the shadow vaults for the last guy. Uh, and for Pike's um, enemies I d I don't remember, so let's see if we encounter them. It's probably not accessible right now. I don't know. Don't know. Let's see the last guy. Is I don't know. Is it? Is it? When you actually enter the the thing. Let's see. Shadow Vaults. Uh, let's go to, to the entrance and see if he's around the door, I think. Yep, which reminds me something. Yep, he's right there. So you can just TP to the Shadow Vaults or go by foot. It's kind of the same. Alright, let's buff everyone and do the usual. Return. Right. Extra turn. We make it look easy. I think the like the, the the most extra turns I've gotten was like five in a row. It's just, it was just cra completely crazy. Let's see if I, if I can. Oh. Let's just kill them with the uh, ultimate. Yeah, like five turns in a row was just completely crazy. We did it. Right, cool. So we got all, all three of them over too soon. Yeah, kind of. Uh, let's see. So we can return to the, to the main guy, but we can also try to locate uh, the other guys let's see from i can be ambushed let me think did i already face them i don't know uh, where's the groove the groove let's see i'm, I'm just going to go go there uh, with by foot just in case we encounter like uh, one of Pike's uh, enemies we have to face definitely not them and we can go back from here Alright, I think for now we're going to put this one on the, on the side and just um, go back to go back to the port and give the quest back. Cool, that's uh, that's done. Does he has something else to say? Return to Kalia. Why? Oh, all right. Never mind. It's the same, guys. It counts. All right. That's just uh, something I didn't expect. It. So if you don't do them at the same time, you have to do it twice. I think. I'm almost sure. Uh, because uh, on my first place 
playthrough that's what I did. I I did the Phileas quest before and after that I talked to Kalia and and I was just I had to just kill them uh, multiple times. So we have new weapons here. We, we're just going to buy one of each, just uh, just like uh, oh, we we always do, just to get every equipment in the game. Right. Oh, I have bought, bought one more, and I already two of them. We have Zonia's ring. Zonia's ring is insane for tanks. Uh, let's see what do we have. I'm actually going to take like oh, at least two. Those are bonus damage, uh, stamina, and haste. Can we have better things for now? No, I'm just going to take like three. And I think this is the best uh, trinket we can have for now. Let's see. I'm going to buy one of those. One of those. But his damage is 116. This is 152. We're going to buy three of those and two of those. All right. And we should be we should be good. So now we can just uh, equip like ancient if we have enough. Obviously, uh, do we have we have only 400. So before leaving, I'm just going to do to probably know by now is actually duplicating them so I can, I can just go to sell sell my enchanting stuff uh, I want to locate my blue essences uh, oh I can I, I already have purple ones and blue ones and let me check this is purple and this is blue right I, I, I kind of need both so I'm going to uh, I'm going to do that for both of those. So what I want is... Um, let's see... Purple Essences... Alright, I'm going to do that with uh, those. One time should be enough for Blue Essences because you saw that the, the last one, the best one, are not the blue ones, but the purple ones. So we don't need too, ma too much blue essences for the rest of the game, but for late game, we need an incredible amount of purple essences to enchant everything we, we want. So, oh, never mind, I just uh, lost some few seconds here. So yeah, pur purple essences are what you need the most uh, end game to enchant everything you have. So yeah, if you do this for a while, do it for the purple essences. If you are trying to save time. And by the way, I checked uh, yesterday for new patches and information about the game and it doesn't seem to come. So I'm not sure it's going to be fixed at some point. It's probably, it's probably not going to be fixed, uh, honestly. So we'll see uh, how the games, the, the life of the game uh, will, will be. It's probably going to remain like that. So. It's not too bad, obviously, but the game is, is great. But the bugs are could be like a could kill it. Let's see, do I have better things? No, I'm, I'm just going to sell one and try to buy back. Yep, and do it for both of those. No, I should be fine. I don't know why what what I was looking for before, but yeah, I don't really need it. I think. For now, I'm just going to do it once, just uh, for the sake of the video not taking too long. But endgame, you need like probably 5,000 or 6,000 purple essences to, to be safe and, 
enchant whatever you like it's just it, it melts so yeah probably five five thousand I, i'd say if you want to enchant like everything like, a crew, like to have many options and builds as possible and you can just switch enchants depending on what you need all right so i'm going to do this and this perfect now i can just enchant what i want let's see oh, i can actually buy some of those new stuff let's see what do i don't i don't have those I'm going to take like probably a hundred of each it's, it's kind of fast this one this one too These are almost the end game uh, mats. I can I can take a bit more because they're going to be useful for the rest of the game. After that, we're just going to enchant a few new gear we got and go to the new uh, Serpent Isles to see if we can find the Buru Shrine, I guess. I, I don't really know. Temple? Yeah, temple would be more accurate. Let's see, do I, have, uh, do I need more of those? No, I don't. Mm, this one. Alright, we got everything. Now I'm just going to enchant a few, a few gear. Let's see. Uh, do I want to enchant uh, everything? Like, I, I cannot enchant things higher than level uh, 20. And I think Pike has already, has already a better weapon, right? If I don't miss it, yep. So I'm just going to enchant for Brom and Ari. So let's see. I want to equip. And I don't even know if this one will be better than this one when uh, enchanted. I'm just going to put the 20, level 22 gear. Let's see. Ring of Champions. Yes, I'm just going to put the level 22 gear and soon enough we will we'll, we'll have what uh, it's needed to enchant those captain's joker yep good and we're at long last we're changing the bullet like really really soon not yet but really soon all right pike uh the runer this was be this will be crazy when we actually get to enchant it Let's see yep we want that we want this we where's the your uh, thing oh we cannot we cannot equip the the plush here right let's see or, or i just have one why oh, I, I have multiple oh it's it's there never mind captain's joker i bought only one all right that's why Let's see, prison door is great. Ancient pauldron is good. Uh, ring of uh, Zonia's ring is actually proking a damage shield. I has twenty percent chance to get me a damage shield, so it's it's crazy good. Plain and simple, and we heart of gold is kind of cool. Yes. Also, it's an iconic item in League of Legends. I'm just going to get uh, some captain's choker for everyone let's see oh, I didn't buy that bonus defense uh, haste a lot of haste and where is my uh, oh it's right there oh but we have, we have this one 
what is damage 152 what is damage is 116 right i need like three of those and two of those in case i need all my characters and to finish my equipment we want to equip this one and this one all right and we got silver blood and as we saw it's not uh yet replaceable all right so we are going to go to the serpent coast Oh, and you can see here I have a debuff that is called Terror from the last enemies, the few enemies I've, I've uh, battled. And when 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 it reach when it reaches 20 stacks, I it deal tremendous amount of damage. So you really want to dispel that before it reaches 20 stacks. You gain a stack every one every turn, I think, or every damage ability you take. Let's see. Yeah, and, and also it's one of the few debuffs that persists after battle. But I think you take a one one every time you get attacked. Um, so yeah, you, we we can access Serpent Coast here, or we can go back to Buildwater to do certain uh, side quests. But for now, we're just going to go to Serpent Coast. But if we went back to we've been oh, sailing no, around in circles. Hey, silent type. Please tell me you sense something. <sighs> That's very typical. You tempt fate with me, Fortune. You're lucky to be here with us. That Allah we let you keep breathing. Or keep not breathing. You'll encounter the wrong captain one day, Ripper. Many say you are the wrong captain. Well, I... Damn it! I had a great line ready. The fishman must sense something. He is much better swimmer than Brom. Maybe he can teach. Uh, didn't you swim all the way to Bilgewater? Yes, but... Uh, Brom is glad no one was watching. <laughs> ah, you can imagine. There is a problem. You sound a lot less confident than you did a few minutes ago. What have you found? The temple is below, but its power has drawn things from the depths. What kind of things? Masses of tentacles and eyes, scales sharp like blades, creatures of teeth and gills, the ancient sea's finest. So talk to them. Tell them to get lost. I can get past, Captain. You, however, are simply a convenient meal. We aren't getting past them. If we cannot fight our way through, we must create other solutions. I must speak to the Buru Elder. So just like that, we head back to Bilgewater? Unless you would care to go for a swim. <sighs> Turn the boat around. And now we are going to build water. That's someone. That's why. So we will have to go to the elder, but we also can get a few side quests done. So just speak to the usual uh, rumor guy. We have a new visitor that is in Baron's Rest. So we are going to do that, and we are going to visit the. How is it called? The Prime Board, which I think. The Bounty Board, yep. So we can claim the Spider Queen, yes. And we have the Captain Floon that is uh, that is available. This one is probably not uh, yet, I, I'm not sure. We can also go back to, uh, let's see, uh, Brew Grotto is for the story. We can go back to the Black Mark Vendor and see what we can get from for our... Uh, uh, black marks. So Baron's Rest, Brew Grotto, Grotto is for story, and we can actually get Captain Sloon uh, side. Uh, I mean bounty done. Let's see. I bought a. F I, I caught a few fish, so let me check. Oh, and this guy just told me he found new fishing spots uh, on the map. So when you, whenever you want to leave Bridgewater, you will have more choices on the world map. 
So it's great. Tradian artifacts. All right, and now we have a lot of black marks, <laughs> 200. So um, let's see. We can start. Uh, we can start working on our uh, skins. We can also get this. So it's actually done. So I'm just going to get this. Or we could buy uh, like equipment that can only be gotten through block marks. Uh, but I'm I kind of want to keep that for late game because it's not needed uh, right now. Let's see. I'm going to buy a skin one at least, and this will be Ari. Yep. And for the rest of my marks, I'm going to get the equipments probably or should I keep my marks all right let me get this these are right, cool so I got in some uh, so they have a th this cutscene is, is kind of bugged because we um, we we don't really know what they're talking about but they're they're just Assessing that the hammer is uh, useful for for them, and uh, yeah, that's it. So let's see what we're going to do now. We're going to Baron's Rest uh, now. Yep. This guy is still level six. Cannot do really much to me. Oh, and one thing I forgot when I left uh, the, the, the the Shadow Isles is actually to visit the cook because we should have new foods. Breathing available. deep, crew. Smell that? Rotten fish? Rotten corpses? Fuck out. <laughs> right. Everyone appreciates uh, Bilgewater differently, it seems. And while we are in Fleet Street, we want to visit the uh, couple shop just to get some more runes, especially because we're close, really close to level 22, and uh, we want to have enough runes to when when for when we actually can unlock them. So let's buy from him the usual five tomes for each characters. In in the game, you act you need in total. 40 runes to get the full build uh, for every characters, so you don't need to buy. We, we don't need to buy much. Uh, we're 24. Actually, we kind of need a few, still a few. Uh, but with all of those journals and the five we just got, we should have enough really soon. And also, when we level up the, the last few levels we have to level up, we will get more. So, yep. Now we go to the slum market, slums market, to get to the the Baron's Rest. Oh, and we, you to change your skin, you 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 can go there and press. For me, it's the right stick, and there you have all the skins you have unlocked. This one comes from the special edition, like the deluxe uh, edition, and this one is just from. Uh, the, the one we bought and you can see them here this one is crazy good i'm not too fond of the rune uh, rune king uh, skins this one is just crazy good but also it kind of uh, <laughs> get me out of the story because it's just so not fitting for the universe of the game so i'm i don't know what you prefer guys but i'm, I'm going to stick with the usual skins yep i think it's uh it fits more but the skins are are quite good all right so now we want to go to bound dressed which is right there
So the quest told us uh, a new guy came, right? And we can actually talk to him. He's a man from Ionia and he's asking us to check on a, a delivery or cargo, I mean. That is right there, right? Uh, yep, not right at the cargo. So we can uh, you can ask him a bunch of questions to learn to learn more about the lore and to get some connection pieces with uh, the lore of League of Legends. And while we are here, we're so we got the warehouse key and the blossom jewel, and the warehouse key is needed. Uh, and while you are here with uh, Harry, Harry in the main position, you can talk to this guy and cast a charm on him. Yep. So he's giving us, she's given us the vintage key, and we can use that right there. Before that, we're just going to check on the last foods, and actually, we just unlocked the fruit and cheese, which is lifesteal rating food. And as you know, in this game, if you didn't check on my uh, previous videos, the lifesteal food is. Bugged. See how this is a rating, like 974 is a rating, and this, uh, like, this is attack power rating, this is haste rating, see? But the rating of the haste here is 30%, right? And uh, actually what comes probably with the game is when you mention a rating, here is a haste rating of 427, and here is an evade rating. But here is a haste rating of 30%. And what happens is with the lifesteal rating, it's bugged and it's actually a percentage. But it's not a, like 900% would be, be crazy. It's, it's already crazy, but it's a, a 97.4% of lifesteal, lifesteal. So it's almost 100% of lifesteal when you eat this food. So it's crazy, crazy. But obviously you, you deal like uh, like a uh, hundred da damage or thousand damage and you just heal for the same amount it's crazy so now that we spoke with him to him with Ari we can go back here and actually open this chest and get shield rings and uh, nice goodies and now we have everything in Baron's West and the last thing we need to do here is actually check the new uh, how is it called the new arena battles so before leaving Baron's Rest, you want to go there and check on the arena battles. There we go. Uh, we don't need to know what's today's catch. We're just going to go with the bike, uh, pay 600, six, uh, 600 gold and blast everything that is uh, in front of us. We're just going to... Mm, no, we're going to play safe. So you want to apply Shroud and all the buffs and just spend the card, which will be probably enough. Let's see. Just going to apply buffs. And shroud and uh, stealth and, and spend this. And the guy is almost dead. Not lucky here, I didn't uh, proc like multiple turns. There we go. What does it give us? Gives us Orb of the Glaze. Blades. Alright, blade. Alright, cool. And we don't have more for now, right? Looks like we're fresh. All right, so for now we are. Uh, I think it was the fifth or the, the fourth. I don't remember. Uh, Bell, we got a new orb, but it's less good than what we heal. What what we have, and we can just leave. You can guess uh, by doing this battle and getting this loot and getting the chest above uh, above the. Just, that we're th the story expects us to be around 18 but we're actually 21 so we get better loots from the shops and that's what uh, it's kind of a shame I, I mentioned this in my last video about how this the game scales with your levels 
but it's kind of bad because the monster don't and the chests don't so you actually get bad rewards because you leveled up efficiently uh, from the chests and stuff so it's kind of weird I don't really like finding chests and just I'm like yep not equipping that it's not this one I don't know if you can just ignore those because w I, I know for sure it's uh, the one on the on the back so I don't know if we I can just skip all, the, all of those all right the cargo has been neutralized and of course we have some visitors Battles, uh, when, once you found a, an efficient way to do battles, it kind of get repetitive, obviously. I mean, why, why would you do anything that is not efficient, right? Just hold still. So, let's see, I can just buff all of them. Probably late though. Maybe not. Let's see. Mm, I, uh, I, that's, uh, that's okay. I'm just going to rest the Previvary with the Brom. Okay. And I'm going to taunt just to play a bit more safe because actually they are level 23 so they, they can deal a lot of damage when they really want I'm doing this and I'm rebuffing Ari before doing anything else and now I have the third ultimate so maybe I want to showcase it not yet though I'm, I'm keeping uh, this one to Oh, maybe Ari has uh, one that that um, inflicts damage to everyone. I don't remember. I didn't use much the ultimates in the game. Let's see. All enemies uh, damage implies a lot of debuffs. So let's just do it so we can see it. That's strong. Right. It's kind of, kind of strong. Cool. So now we can return to the guy at in Baron's Rest and finish this quest. This guy. Cargo has been neutralized. Cool. Continue. And we get that thousand gold. Right. And an Empyrean whisker. And this is for uh, one of the. Let's see. This is for one of the. Uh, this is for the ultimate weapon for Yasuo, I think. Almost, almost certain it's for as well. Okay. Oh, look, never mind. I thought we could have the elevator keep going up while I'm ch I'm checking uh, about the whisker I got. So now that we've done this, we can check on the Brew Temple or Elder, or we can just get to bounty we can do so it's um, Flume, Captain Sloon and to do Captain Sloon bounty we just have to go to Grey Harbor and um, and go back to where the 
jagged hooks were, I think. That was the jagged hooks. So we're just going to do that for now. And by the way, uh, we are going back to Fleet Street before leaving the Bilgewater uh, because we want to buy more rune books. But for now, we can't. Probably didn't respawn yet. So here is the Brew Grotto, but we want to go to Grey Harbor first. Oh, let me uh, let me eat my new food. So before that, I'm just going to show you what I meant with the rating. So here, Ares has zero percent life seal. See, I'm going to eat the food, the new one, the fruit and cheese. It should give me 974 uh, like score and I would don't know how that do that does in percentage but instead it gives me like 16 uh, 16k lifesteal which is 97.4 percent lifesteal so it's completely broken and crazy and call, call it uh, how you want and this is like the best food you can have in this game at least you should you should if you need the lifesteal if you use it right if you don't well stats like attack power is, uh, is is just better but for now we are actually getting hit so we kind of can we, we can use uh, some of the lifesteal and now monsters have been updated here since we unleashed uh, some of the black mist so I'm going to do uh, like one big uh, big fight with Many of them, let's see if uh, I cannot. That's okay. <laughs> Join me, my friends. Just get started. Harry can probably get the kill them all. That's gonna yeah. hurt. And we are almost level 22, guys. Almost. So at level 22, we can have final builds for our characters. That will be good. Good, good, good. Uh, let's see. bug once more the one who like where I can't uh, switch targets one of the most I know you ones I think maybe yeah I, I can try with Harry yep so when whenever you have this bug because you you will have this bug I mean it's practically impossible to not get it what you want to do is just save and reload the game there let's see this one uh, gray harbor yep this one and it should work but yeah it's uh, it's, uh, it's so annoying to have to reload the game uh, especially because it doesn't save some of the settings like the the sprint or the fast battle thing yeah uh, so you it's just, just so annoying. And Rune is level 22, so we, we, we want to use runes as soon as we can. Uh, increase physical damage defense it's for each attack performed and you can stack to 6 times, so 6 times 6 is uh, 42, I think. <laughs> no, it's uh, 36. And this is just increased stamina like crazy amount. Uh, this, this is just too good. And yeah, for now.
how we're gonna prepare to eat those. Hopefully if I have battles now I can switch targets. So let's see, do I have a faster way to go there? No, it's kind of it's kind of the best way to go, to go. And you want to fight those monsters because there are new ones, so you want them for your best shirt, right? So don't forget to do a few battles here. Just oh, I can't switch target actually. I have to restart the game. That's crazy. I thought, uh, I thought we were done for. going to restart the game so see you in one moment guys all right everyone we are back hopefully the game works now so yeah we don't need anything from here so I'm just going to speed through this part of the, of the map try to get every, we every not just be friends? battle for the mystery let's see runes, new runes. We're going to do them uh, really, really soon. We just don't have them for Ari yet. So yeah, Captain's Loon is right there, so just going to do a one last battle with these guys. Oh, it's not a, it's not a chain battle, so I'm just going to flee and do it again. Yep. Like, uh, yes. Oh! I cannot, I cannot uh, get the advantage. Let's see. Do this. And buffs in this game, like, doesn't really count for one turn because it's so fast to apply. It's so fast. Uh, so you, you really want to buff yourself. When, uh, when you have strong enemies. Just get me started. These guys will will take a lot of damage from uh, from my uh, poisons. Let's see. Yeah, it took so much. So let's just finish it. perfect and it's not much XP. Alright so let's do the runes before getting to uh, the guy. 
So we can get life steal, attack power and crit chance. Uh, bleeds and poisons and ignites can life steal or crit. And you definitely want that for bosses. For now, I'm not sure because uh, I'm just going to do too much damage and it's so hard to to plan for a triple kill when you get that. But let, you know what? Let's try. Let's try. I'm going to remove uh, this and get this because it's just that but better with attack power as well. And lifesteal, I don't really care right now because I have so much from the food buffs. Uh, for her, it's uh, we cannot do much. Let's see. Increase attack power by 2% for each concussion of on enemies. Um, I don't, I don't care much about uh, the rest of the setup. Let's go. So here you have Captain Flood. So it's a, it's a side quest and a bounty. So I will, I will explain that and that uh, just after the fight. For now we have a captain to kill and see how much damage ignites and, cre and uh, poisons dealt right there. I mean, bike is just crazy just because of this rune. I mean, it was crazy before, but now it's just completely another world. It's not even comparable. Yeah, this guy just died. <laughs> Alright. See how you could. We cannot plan any kills with uh, that kind of damage. It's just, it's just too strong. It's cool for bosses, though. But for the rest of the game, it's kind of annoying. So here we can just collect the cannon blueprint. So, it's, as I was saying, it's for a, um, a bounty because we, we killed uh, Captain's flu, so for the bounty. But you also get the blueprint that Misfortunes need for her last ultimate. So with this blueprint, we can actually go back to uh, the blacksmith uh, of Bilgewater and give it to him. And... Uh, You'll see what happens after that. But for now, I think we have most of the monsters, if not all the monsters we could have a fight fought here. So I'm just going to leave the area and uh, yeah, go back to the blacksmith. But before that, we're just going to get to the brew grotto and um, talk to the elder because we're it's right there. And we want to avoid backtracks because we don't have like the fast travel in the in Buildwater is kind of cool, but it's not. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't save that much time when you are doing small distances. So here we want to check on the other, and let's check what uh, what this guy is saying. Ah, huh. what is this? To remember. Uh, is this for Ilaoi? Maybe I should bring Ilaoi. Let's see. We'll see. My child, you return. Your arrival was preceded only by your palpable unease. I must ask a great favor of our people. You are a truth bearer. We will hear what you have to say. I have discovered a piece of our history, an ancient temple. It was built in collaboration with the Blessed Isles, locked deep beneath the sea. So the myths were true. Myths? Why is this not common knowledge? After the ruination, it was not considered wise to speak openly of the temple's existence. A matter for another time. The way forward is blocked by rulers of the sea, too lethal to fight. I need the serpent callers. Lowry, 
The serpent callers are Bilgewater's last defense. He cannot call upon them lightly. Before, you received a vision from the goddess. Has she sent you another? She... she has not. I prayed for another sign, but the goddess has been silent. So, this grave request is simply your own judgment, then? Yes, I know that it is a risk. The serpent collars protect us from heroines. They are not to be trifled with. But if I succeed in my mission, we can stop a heroine before it even happens. I wish, I wish the goddess would send me another vision showing me the right thing to do, but she is silent. So my request for the serpent collars, yes, it is my own judgment as truth bearer. You have made up your mind, and so shall it be. I will send home callers to the shore. The mother serpent guides me. I will trust in her. As we trust in you, Alawi. All right, so that's uh, that's good. Oh, the the, the thing there was just for uh, speaking to the elder, right? All right, never mind then. Let's see. Do I want to do more things here? I'm thinking. Let's see. I have probably to buy this, and I have oh that uh, book we can bring back to the other guy. I don't have uh, more things to do here for now, but we will we will go back to this place uh, before the end. Now we just want to go back to um, the bounty board and get our reward and also get to the blacksmith to give him the blueprints. Let's see. So we can claim this one. Yep, sneaky cheaters ring. Is it is it any good? I don't think so. Sneaky little Cheaters ring. All right, it gives a lot of gold when you defeat enemies, so it can be good if you're if you if you lack some gold. You definitely put it in your in your equipment. I think it is the best uh, item to get gold in the game, like the the percentage. I mean, oh, and we have a cutscene here. We missed. I think we missed it a couple of times. To be fair. Do they tell any stories of you? The great guru truth bearer? I am but one of many truth bearers. There are no stories of me that I know. What of you? Do they tell your stories in the Freljord? <laughs> of course they do. Of course. It is good to have myths, legends. The Freljord, oh, it is a land full of legends. All right. I think it was a good scene that you could have seen. Uh, in the beginning of the game, <laughs> actually. But yeah, we missed it. Alright, so we are just going to see the blacksmith, and of course, while we are here, we're just going to check on the, the rune vendor. I mean, Chester, because it doesn't just sell runes, but that's why he's known for. Yes, all right, it, it has respawned, perfect. And it's probably the last time we actually buy uh, tomes from this guy. I think the rest of the runes we will get enough just uh, from leveling. Let's see, runes. Uh, bike can have one more thing. So lifesteal, we don't really care. 
I'm just going to get crit chance. And for Ari, we want to get crit chance. It's really good. Attacking attack power. Attacking increase power of next EO. Mm. I'm just going to take this. Last runes for Harry are not that great. Um, I mean, in the way I play her, right? Increase crit chance by each time, by, by 4% each time is 14 attacks. That's huge. Uh, this and this are huge. And actually I can take one more. This is crazy. Uh, crit chance and crit damage, crit chance and attack power. So let's see. Yep. And this one is for sure the next one. Actually I'm going to take out this one and take this one instead. And lifesteal doesn't need it. Attack power for each concussion. Um Defense. Don't really need defense right now. Broom is just already too tanky. This is crazy. And yeah, nothing too great here. Mm, yeah, for now I'm good. Just going to take those. All right, um, and that's it for this guy. So now we can just go back to the blacksmith and we're done for this part of the, of the guide. And we're actually done with most of the side quests from Bilge Order. We have, uh, we have like a few more arena battle battles. We have a few more, uh, how is it called, um, bounties. But yeah, after that we're done with Bilge Order, I think. Oh, the blacksmith was just there. My bad. I passed uh, just right before the guy. So this guy, you want to give him the blueprint. Looks fancy, right? And you get the misfortune third ultimate. Oh, nice. Let's see, this one I don't. And the rest is, uh, is good. I don't have those, but we have the rest. All right, cool. So now we have done, I think everything we could have done um, for Bilgewater. So we're just going to save and wrap up this part. And next time we're going to the Serpent Coast, guys, to the, the Purification Tumble. So I'm just going to get to the boat and we're going to uh, end this part there. Oh, and before that, I want to check if I unlocked my uh, enchantments tier four. Yes, I did. All right, cool. So we'll, next time I'm going to set up properly all the all those. Oh, actually, before before doing all that, I want to check one more thing uh, from uh, how is it called the veil jumper. So the veil jumper is quite uh, weird. You, you have the uh, it's not there. You have the quest for like a, for a long long time now. We have this uh, where is it? Veil jumper here. So some something strange is going on in Bilgewater. Things have been disappearing with rumors uh, on a, of a small figure slipping between the shadows. This refers to the thing we can uh, see with the lens. So you see the the, the small portals, right? Um, so if you s like see all the portals, then you can just go there once the stories have reached this point and this is the hammer cutscene that just plays every time you get there but the veil jumper will be here but i don't know what really unlocks it so but we're definitely going to beat him right but for now i just
don't really know uh, if, if, if it's linked to our story progression, and I think it is, or if it's linked to something else. I really think it's story progression though. So I don't know why the devs decided to give us the quest that early. Don't really know. Alright, so guys, I'm going to uh, set up my enchants actually because I can do it now and that's something we won't have to do later on. Oh, oh my god, that's so much of power. I'm going, I'm going with this one. Uh, for the rings, I don't want to change anything. And for this, I don't want to as well. Uh, for this, I'm... Hmm, that's... Uh, it's hard to choose, actually. We'll see. Uh, for this, I'm going definitely with this one. Uh, Ring of Champions, Silk Bullet, and Stuff Jordal. Alright, I'm going to Equip Revive as well, because we're going to a Buru Temple really soon. So, obviously, we... We want her prepared. The news ring is great. Which will is good, I think. Oh, let's just take attack power and heart of gold. Alright, and we are going to enchant our four main uh, characters for now. And with that, we're actually done with this part. And you'll see how fast you deplete those uh, couple of senses if you enchant like a crazy guy like me you're just burning through your, your stocks let's see alright do I want to enchant the one for uh, Harry? I don't remember if I have a better one so let's just Enchant the one for Pike and Ari. Ah, yes, I have the one with the attack for Never mind. I remember now. I like how some of the gear, not all of the pieces of gear, but some of them are like completely linked to League of Legends uh, equipment you can buy in the game like the Zonia's ring and uh, actually a few swords and stuff like this is clearly uh, linked to League of Legends obviously this one is a deleted item from League of Legends from many many years ago and I, I kind of like how they they put it and they could have done like a even more, I wouldn't have. Uh, yeah, let's uh, shut those. I probably won't have enough. It's just too fast. Let's see. I want to enchant Rom. I want to enchant Ilaoi. And. Uh, uh, yes, we will, we will not be much use now. Let's see. Brown. And the rings. Actually, I won't have enough uh, essences to enchant everything. That's crazy how expensive it is. Even with the dupe trick item, it's just too much. Three more enchants. Let's uh, try to choose wisely. We're going one with one of those. Uh, one of those. And uh, probably one of those. Alright. Alright guys, we are done for this part. Um, let me finish my chance. I don't know if I want to put more ignite. Actually I want to get just more attack power.
one on uh, Ares Orb. I think this is the one. Just more attack power. Attack power for everyone. Let's put one for uh, Ilawi. Okay, here we go. And that's it for now. Alright. So guys, thank you so much for following this one. I uh, hope it wasn't too boring or anything because I did some a few attentions and everything. But yeah, for now, we're done with this part and I will see you in the next one. See you guys. Bye.